You're watching the Wingfeather Saga, an epic adventure with a family fighting for their lives. The Wingfeather Saga is made possible thanks to you, our incredible fans and investors. We made this show free so more people around the world can watch it, and that is only possible because of your support when you pay it forward and buy merch. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy this episode of the Wingfeather Saga. Dark glory in the Repellent. It looks like a troll necklace. It's for Sarah. I mean, for a pretty kind of troll. See, you stuff a bunch of crushed up bully blossoms in this part and the fangs. Oh, and those mean fangs hate how sweet it smells, so they run off. Whoops. <sighs> I have an idea. Jenner! Oh, oh, hey, Tink. Sorry, I'm concentrating here. Great. Concentrate on this. I know, I know, I'll take it back. But what do you think is hidden there? Gold? Pirates? A, a band of fang fighting fang fighters? I think it's none of our business. Because it's not our map. Is that your book? What? I borrowed it from Mr. Just Teep. like I borrowed his map. It's not the same. Uh, I saw this same mark on an old barrel behind Ferenia's. You think it's a code? At the flower shop? Oh, and check this out. Be you friend or be you foe, beware to all who follow. For in the catacombs below is hidden in the hollow a way that leads to pain and woe, sadness, grief, and sorrow. The hungry ghost of Brimney's stoop awaits your bones to swallow. <gasps> Okay, little brother. We'll head to town soon, then. Found it. See, you can stuff the bully blossom petals in here. <laughs> Where did you get this? I dug it up when I was planting fuzz bonnets. I think it's old. No, oh, you don't want to keep it? What I want is for you to marry Sarah Cobbler. This could help. <laughs> Lily, we're just <laughs> friends. Like you mean the Blaggis boys are friends? Uh, exactly. So, when are you going to make their necklaces? <laughs> Can't we just borrow something from Oscar for a while longer? Uh, like, like a book, I mean. Because we're taking everything back today. Sure, but what if it was a book that could send you on an amazing adventure? Wouldn't you borrow that book for just one little extra day? Not if I didn't have permission. Uh, ah, but it could be just like living inside a mystery adventure story. Maybe we already are. What do you mean? The dragon song? A sea dragon spoke to us? Just to us? That has to mean something. I think the dragon song messed with your heads. I didn't hear anything. If you had, that's the mystery you'd want to solve. But your way of solving mysteries is to read sneezy old books instead of going on a real adventure. <gasps> Stay away from the edge. I was fine. Let's go this way. What is he doing? <laughs> Old Pete is so weird. Like, <laughs> hilarious weird. <laughs> he always makes me sad. 
Seriously, return these now, Tink. And please make sure it's all of them. Fine. Hey, what are you gonna say to Sarah? Just, oh, I don't know. I'll say, I made this with fully blossoms to keep the fangs away, and then I thought about who might like it. And then I thought you might like it because you know all about flowers, and you like flowers, and you don't like fangs, and I hope you like this necklace I made. Oh, does that sound silly? I don't know. Ask her. I think a fang repellent necklace is a great idea. Maybe Verinia should start selling them. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Janner. You're welcome. Uh, so, wanna go to Books and Crannies with us? Oh, I can't. I have to work. All right. Uh, well, uh, we have to go find Tink. I guess I'll see you next week. Uh, let's go, Lily. Oh, oh, hey, have you ever seen a silver moon bloom? Uh, what? The most giant flower in all of Scree. They're as big as... As Lily, and they only open once every seven years. You saw one? On the cliff wall. It was already glowing, so I think it's about to open. You want to meet on the bridge at dawn to see it? Uh, sure. We can meet whenever you want. Uh, sure. That, that sounds fine. Okay, well, I have to go water a bunch of purplies out back. Thanks for the fang repellent. I hope it works. See you in the morning. Young Tink, I suppose you're back for more books about itches, rashes, scratchy patches. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yes, sir. I know I have a compendium of irresistible itches of scree, with an appendix ranking the relative pleasures of scratching each variety. Now, where could that be? Tink has berries. Uh, uh, of course, uh, a, a plumium. A plumium. But, uh, I, I, I hid it somewhere in the shop. So, you can have a fun treasure hunt. Plumium treasure hunt? Where? Uh, somewhere in the shop. You have to go find it. I will. <laughs> with ointments, uh, reflections of a rashologist, and as Coyle Dumpleford wrote, this could help. All right, uh, thanks. I should probably go find Janner and Lily now. Well, in the immortal last words of General Schnimp, <gasps> toodles! Oh. Ah. Boys, this is not a Zibsy Green. There you are. I found something so amazing at Oscars. You were supposed to put that back. I did put it back, and then I unput it. Look, there was even more secret stuff. The florid sword. And look, the cross rosen sword right there. This proves it. Proves what? Ankle Jelly Manor is his hideout. What if it is? then we can go there, find him, and join his fight against the fangs. You'd be gobbled by a toothy cow before you got to ankle jelly. Even if you found the florid sword, do you think he wants kids to join his army? Well, not ones with your attitude. <laughs> Tink, look, you have to take that and the map back before Mr. Ratip sees they're gone and I get blamed. Maybe I'll just run away without you and join the florid sword's fang-fighting fang-fighters. Tonight's Snatchy List. But some of these names are... 
We get to snatch kitties now? New orders. Take one youngling for town to start with. Spread the terror around evenly. Ugh! The stink of all them kid piggies up close will make us gaggy. <laughs> Three towns is too many. It'll take us all night. Well, let's get to it then, grunts. So, a uh, friend invited me to meet at the bridge at dawn to see a moonflower that's probably blooming. And it's the only time in seven years, so I want to go. And I told them I thought I could, so I'm wondering if I can go meet them. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. I, I don't know if it's safe. The fangs hardly even move in the morning before the sun warms them up. And I'm meeting her before dawn, so I'll be D back by breakfast. Her? Oh, I thought we were talking about Jeb Blagus. Jeb? He doesn't care about flowers. I'm meeting Sarah, Cobbler. I, I I know you play Zibzy in the same group. I just didn't know you two were were such good buddies. I like talking to her because she's interested in the animals and plants in Glipwood Forest, just like I am. And we like all the same books. And she's funny and smart and really good at Zibzy. Well, you want this old man's opinion? It'll be fine, Mia. Glipwood's been quiet of late. I say, let the boy go. This one ain't on our snatchy list. <laughs> it are now. <laughs> oh, oh, you're lowing tall, sir. What? What? Well, your mother bakes mediocre pies. Now let me pass. Oh, I lured you the hard way. Waiting for someone? No. I mean, just a friend. Hmm. We'll be waiting a long time. Your friend took a carriage ride last night. A black carriage ride. With me! <laughs> Do you want it? A keepsake? You can't have it! <laughs> Be right? No, oh, they've never taken kids from these parts. He, he did take her. And, and what, honey? It was because of me, Mama. <laughs> Lad, the evil those creatures do ain't your fault. Maybe Mayor Blagus can do something. Papa, get Danny hitched up while I fetch something to barter. Stout heart, son. Watch your brother and sister. We'll be back soon. <laughs> Tink, let me see that. Grab some supplies. For what? We're going to ankle jelly. <gasps> see, 
And now you're acting like the big brother I always wanted. Just to be clear, you're agreeing my plan was a good one all along. We have to find the floored sword. The sworded who? Lily, stay home and keep the door barred till we get back. Where are you going? To the scary secret. They took Sarah and he's the only one who can get her back. Who, who took can Sarah? get her back? The floored sword. Wait, the floored sword took Sarah? No, the floored sword can get her back. The fangs took her. Where? In the black carriage last night. They snatched a kid? Why would they take Sarah? Why doesn't matter. Getting help matters. Ready, Tink? <laughs> Nugget, stay and guard <laughs> Lily. I'm going. She was my friend, too. Thank you for watching the Wing Feather Saga on our YouTube channel. This show has been made and continues to be made free to watch, in large part thanks to people like you. We rely on your support to make the Wing Feather Saga. When you share our show, pay it forward, or buy merchandise at our store, you make it possible for us to create more episodes like this one. Just like many creators on YouTube and other places online, we can only continue making the show with your support. So if you love what you're watching, help us make more. Now, back to the episode. They took a child last night. Hush! You knew about this? Considering the girl's parents were pounding on my bedroom window before dawn? Yes. I heard all about it. Then it's really true. They're taking children from Glipwood now. Not just Glipwood. Runners from Lamondron and Torboro report kids taken from those towns too. We have to do something to help. To help? Here's how you can help, Podo Helmer. Go home and forget that girl ever existed. Oh. We must be close. Look, Squeeblin. It's so cute. No, nothing in this forest is just cute. <laughs> Squeeblin bites are the fifth most painful in all of Scree. If it sees us, I'll distract it. You two run. Do Squeeblins have a weakness? Um, Pembroke says they're prone to melancholy. Does that mean they like to eat melons? It means they get really sad. I could play a sad song. The saddest song you know. It's working! Hurry, before it cheers up. Another squeeblin? A horned hound. Come on! What's their weakness? They don't have one. Oh, no, what I'm saying is, if the fangs aren't messing with you, don't mess with them. Why make trouble for the town? You still have all three of your own kids, don't you? Of course. Now then count your blessings and mind your own business. I've got five blessings I'll count upside your skull. Papa. Here. Take this to Norm as a gift. He loves his shinies. And persuade him to return the girl. Oh, I'll not put my own boys at risk for such a fool's hope. The girl is gone. Then keep it to bribe the fangs when the black carriage comes for your sons. Just tell us what you know. Where have they taken Sarah? Uh, Dugtown, Lamb and Drawn, who knows? All I know is no one ever comes back. Because we've got a mayor who won't put up any fuss to get him back. Cobbler girl was taken for someone else's selfishness. What do you mean? <gasps> Nag wants one thing, and someone out there isn't giving it to him.
to him. And just what do you think that monster's greedy claws are clacking for? The jewels of Anira. Jewels. The jewels of Anira are just a legend. Everyone knows that. Time to play. Seek and find. <laughs> Ankle Jelly Manor. Come on. Why is that lady swinging a cat? Doesn't look like anyone's been here in a hundred years. Well, maybe the florid sword just disguised his hideout to look like no one's here. Wait, what if it's full of cave blats? Well, weren't you the one who wanted so bad to come here? Sure, but I thought it'd be more fun. Not so creepy. Thank you for stopping by. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to arrange some rotten fish guts to deliver to our fangs. Our fangs? Grown precious to you, have they? Tell me, Citizen Helmer, when kids are being taken, do you think it wise to insult the one man the fangs still consult with? Now, you listen here, you... Papa, no more. Uh, uh, uh. Whoa! We'll go home before dark, right? We'll go home once we found the floored sword. There's gotta be a secret passage here somewhere. Sure, but the hungry ghost of Brimney Stoop awaits your bones to swallow? Just saying. I'm not as worried about ghosts as some of the creatures in the forest. There. The catacombs below. Is there anything on the map? No secret passages marked here. Oh, there's nothing up here. So the hideout has to be down there. Horned hounds. They must be attracted to the fire. We have to get down. No, Danner! Are you crazy? <sighs> I'm fine. Mostly. Uh, Tink, help Lily over the edge and I'll catch her. Uh, hurry. Let go. No, she'll fall. Let go, I'll catch her. <laughs> Tink, come on. Even 
didn't you? Oh, General Crack will make me a curd over this. Then we'll see how Norm squirms. <laughs> Mr. Florid Sword, we need your help. Please don't hurt us. We're just kids. It's bolted. Maybe it's a code. Just push the right buttons and the door opens. But there's tons of buttons. We'll never guess it. There must be a clue in the map. Whoa. all this. Must have just been the wind banging something. Or the ghost banging something. We should find a way out before the hounds come back. We hope you enjoyed this episode. To watch all our available episodes for free, download the Angel Studios app on your TV, mobile device, or access them on your computer at angel.com slash wingfeather. While you're there, you can watch other awesome content from Angel Studios like The Chosen, Dry Bar Comedy, Tuttle Twins, and many more. We can't wait for you to watch the next episode of The Wingfeather Saga. Dark lore in the deep.